Uh, the cool thing <laughs> was uh, we had a get ready leave at five o'clock in the morning, so it was kind of neat to see the limo pull up, and um, it was kind of a a neat feeling seeing him um, because they were all excited. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's been a long time to see them excited about something, so it was really neat. I really liked the rides I loved them because when I had cancer I couldn't ride much rides but now I love them so it was pretty cool and with my family I like that part too. It made some things happen that we wouldn't have been able to do on our own. Um, the, the particular trip we took is something that we wouldn't have been able to pull off and uh, it allowed us to be able to, again, do something that we enjoy doing anyway, but it gave the, the brothers and sisters of Dan a chance to go and kind of cut loose a little bit, get away from all the, the things that they had to deal with basically over those few years. These kinds of things touch a lot more people's lives than it even does ours. Uh, the folks that really have no, um, that, that there are really no ties to the, the whole Make-A-Wish um, uh, group or foundation have been touched because they've heard the stories from a limo driver or uh, somebody who knew somebody that did this. They have all these really neat stories to tell about how big of a difference it made for their families, especially when you have children. The children remember those experiences and they see them as things that uh, they just may not have seen had they not had the chance to uh, go through the Make-A-Wish program. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thanks.